Today we are doing baby back ribs with Alabama white sauce. So doing Alabama white sauce on ribs, I'm sure I'm not the first person to have done it. It's definitely the first time that I've done it, but it's something I've wanted to do for a while. I know the Alabama white sauce goes great on chicken. It just made sense it would go well with pork. It's a creamy vinegary sauce, and we know that a nice vinegar barbecue sauce goes great with pork, so why not give it a nudge? Today I thought we'd do baby backs because I haven't done them for a while. These ones are the Smithfield brand. They're out of the United States. Uh, now, if you're not sure what type of pork ribs you're cooking, uh, baby back ribs typically are a bit smaller than your St. Louis cut or your spare ribs. And if you flip it over to the other side, you can see on the uh, baby backs here, it's got a real pronounced uh, curvature in the bone. So that's a dead giveaway. You're cooking baby backs as well. Your great ribs, always very meaty, very nice to cook and eat. We're going to cook two racks today. So let's get them out of the packet and get them ready. The only thing I'm going to do for prep today, other than seasoning, is just to get the membrane off the back. Before we season, I'm just going to throw down a little mustard. It's going to act as a binder for our rub. I'm going to put a nice little base layer just of a SBG seasoning because it's always nice just to have that salt and pepper base layer at the bottom of anything that you're cooking. Not too heavy. Now I'm going to add my pork rub. Today I'm using the Sucklebusters Hogwaller. Give that a nice covering. Now we're going to be hanging our ribs today, so while, I'm, while I've got them upside down, I'm going to put the hook in. It's going to go down the thin end here, a couple of ribs down, and poke that through. Do the same to the other rack. Oop. Now we'll turn them over, season the top side. So I've heard some debate over whether the mustard adds any flavour or whether it acts purely as a binder and once your ribs are done you can't really tell the difference whether it's there or not. I don't know what your thoughts are. My personal thoughts are that I can't particularly taste it at the end but I can tell that it's been there. I think it's got a slightly different look to it. Light SPG coat at the bottom and a pork rub on top. And it looks like I'm just going to have enough rub. All right, let's head outdoors and have a look at our barbecue setup. Today we're going to be cooking on the Octopit multi Q. So you can see at the top here, we don't have our grate in, but we've got our short hanging bar here. We're only hanging two racks of ribs, so we only need the short one. Okay, so today we're going to be offsetting the ribs from the heat source. We're not going to be cooking them direct over the coals. So what we've got here is we've got our firebox down the bottom. We've got our fuel on this side here. You can see we've got our divider in here just to keep the fuel up that one end. And then down here, we've got our hanging bar that we spoke about where we'll hang our ribs from. And that will be indirect from the heat source. So there's only one thing for it. Let's light this barbecue up and get these ribs on. So while those ribs are cooking away, we'll get into making our Alabama white sauce. Now you can use any mayo you like, but for me personally, you can't beat QP mayo. I reckon it's the best out there. It's delicious and I always use it when I'm making Alabama white sauce. We're going to put in our cup of QP mayo, or a cup of our QP mayo, quarter cup of cider vinegar, one tablespoon of mustard, teaspoon of horseradish, Good squeeze of fresh lemon juice. Then just a little salt and pepper to taste. All right, then we just give it a good whisk up. All right, there we go, that's our white sauce. About as simple as it gets. 
You could almost argue it's more of a dressing than a sauce, but regardless, uh, it's one of my favorites. We're just gonna put that to one side while we wait for our ribs. Righty, we're about an hour into our cook now, and these ribs, I must say, are looking very good. Let's have a nosy. Look at that. Amazing color, they look really good. Time to get these off for a wrap. All right, so these look absolutely amazing. They smell beautiful. Look at that color. Got that beautiful, nice red auburn color, and you can see there's some really nice pullback on the bones there too. So these are definitely ready to wrap. Let's get into it. So we're just going for a really classic wrap today. A little bit of butter down the bottom. A little raw sugar, a little maple. Get our ribs on top there. And we'll repeat that process on the other side. Right, now that we've wrapped, we've removed the hanging bar and we're just going with the grate now so we can lay them flat the remainder of the cook. The other thing we're going to do now that it's wrapped is I'm just going to close in the vents to dial it back a little. We don't want that sugar to burn when it's all wrapped up there. So we just want to drop the temperature a touch. Alrighty, it's time to check these ribs out and I must say they are looking and smelling very, very nice. Probing beautifully, just where we want them. Time to take these off and give them a go. Alrighty, we have these off, we have them unwrapped and look at that colour. That just looks amazing. So let's slice them up. Right, I'm gonna grab one just from right in the middle here. Look at that, beautiful, nice baby back rib. All our ribs are sliced up. I'm very happy with how they came out. I've got my white sauce here that we made earlier. So there's nothing for it but to give this a go. Right, I'm gonna pick a nice meaty rib from the middle here somewhere. This one looks pretty good. And I'm just gonna dip this, I think. Here we go. All right, here we go. Baby back rib, Alabama white sauce. Straight off the bone, very hooverable. That is good. Could eat them all day long. All right, there we go. That is one clean bone right there. So there you go, some beautiful baby back ribs with Alabama white sauce. Now for mine, I really enjoyed that and I'll definitely be doing it again. It's always nice to mix it up a little bit when you're barbecuing, maybe try some ribs with no sauce or like we did today, a slightly different sauce that you wouldn't traditionally have on ribs. So definitely great fun. As always, if you like our content, give us a thumbs up and give us a subscribe and we'll see you on the next one.